Hey kids, welcome to unit four, lesson 10, multi-selection statements, exercise number three. We have another choose your own adventure. For this video, we're gonna do planets. All of the answers are pretty similar though. Let's go ahead and jump in and look at the code. Create a scene that draws an image of each planet based on the length of their days. In Planet Scene Java, write the choose size method using the multi-selection statements to check the length of each day and return the size to draw the image. If the length of the day is greater than 100, return a size of 150. Else, if the length of the day is greater than or equal to 15, return the size of 100. Otherwise, return the size of 50. And then in my theater, we're gonna call the create scene method with the array and then use the uh, theater play scene to play the scene. The heart of the lesson is translating this into code. Before we do that, well, let's take a look at ours. Down here, we're creating an array from the planets text file. It is called planets. We're also creating a, another array days. It looks like it's getting its data from the days length text file. We're creating one object, my scene, from the planet scene class, and it's passing along our planets and days array as parameters. We have our standard file reader right here. In planet scene, we have two private instance arrays, planets and days length. Those are getting passed in from my theater. We're instantiating one object, planet scenes. It is taking our two arrays as parameters. We have a method we have to write, choose size. And then our create scene is creating a scene at random locations. Let's take a look at our planets text file. Here's a list of planets. It is .png because it is linking to the image file that will be displayed down here in our theater. Day's length looks like the length of each day on the planets. Let's head back to planet scene and write our code. While this one might seem like a lot of work, it really isn't. We just have to write this in the code. Let's go ahead and get started. We know we're gonna need an if else if statement. So let's put our if statement down. This is going to be the end of if. Inside here, we wanna test if the day length is greater than 100. We're passing along a parameter day length. So we're gonna test for that day length and we wanna see if it is greater than 100. If it is, we're gonna return a size of 150. You can see down here we have size, so we wanna return that size equal 150. Don't forget your semicolon. That is our if statement. Now we need to do our else if statement. We need some brackets, this will be our else if and inside here if the day length is greater than or equal to 15. So if the day length is greater than or equal to 15. In that case size is going to equal 100. Clean that up and then else we're going to return a size of 50. And that's it. That's all the code we need to do to complete this. Now we have to go into my theater and create our scene. Let's go ahead and take care of that. My theater. We have to call our scene, my scene, and that is our create scene method. And then we have to play our scene through the theater, play scenes, 
and we want to play my scene. Well, that should go inside there. Looks like that is all spelled right. When I hit run, I should get an image of my planets popping up here and their size is going to be based off their day length. Let's hit run and see if we're right. And all our planets are popping up and based off of their day length, we're getting a size. That means when I hit stop and run, I should just get a different location for each of the planets, but they should all still be the same size. Let's see if we're right. So it looks like our multi selection statement works. Key takeaway from this lesson, again, is just understanding what a multi selection statement is. And that is a statement to test for more than three conditions. Again, good rule of thumb, testing for one, that's an if statement, two, if else, three or more, that is an else if statement. Hopefully this video helps you understand multi-selection statements a little better. As always, kids, if you have any questions, uh, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.